Dire Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Manila Major C qualifiers. We have Action Arena versus Mineski. I'm Lysander, joined here by Danny And we have our second game in this BO2. Action Arena going down without much of a fight in game one. Held on to Mega Creeps, had a lot of Dagons. It was clowny, but now game two, will they redeem themselves or will Mineski go for face roll round two? We shall see. Danny what are your thoughts? I honestly Ten think Arena remaining. will have a chance at taking a game off of Mineski just because of that MPG a couple of days ago. They have beaten Mineski Radiant before. Not to say that they can't, but we can definitely say that one, they did look very weak. They are going to have to change up play Witch style completely. Doctor. They want to be coming back into Radiant the second game. Team. And I guess like to a certain extent, they would have to hope that Mineski lowers their guard a little bit. Because if Mineski plays a similar game to last game, I don't really see much hope for action every hmm. Oh, I mean, my voice is terrible right now. <clears throat> Problem, uh, we have a uh, Nature's Prophet picked up by oh, Action Arena this remaining. time, so they are going to uh, use Furion. Uh, oh, this Reserve daughter name's time. too difficult. Nature's Prophet is uh, <laughs> going to be the choice here for Action Arena, but uh, Mineski going for Witch Doctor again. Cast doesn't play any other heroes. His hero. It's I just I said this yesterday. It's like MMY. If you have MMY on your team, you'll always want to pick a lion because that's his signature hero. Like obviously Wish Doctor is hero equivalent for cast. I'm still hoping he changes his name to Cask one day, because why not? Hero pun if it's like the only hero you play, why not? Cask throws a cask. Um <laughs> He has played a really good Witch Doctor. Always had really good positioning. Death boards. He's always there for the Dying team fights. Team. He's always there to contribute, and I think that's the biggest thing with the Witch Doctor. You always want to be with your team when the when the action happens. He's not a hero that wants to be on the other side of the map farming away. He wants to be there with the team, though. Like picking off Witch Doctor first pick, like why not? The other person that plays uh, plays it to the T, go for it. And they also go for the puck again for Mineski. So they're gonna have some great setup and a very strong mid laner as well. But Alchemist, Radiant the field now for Action Arena. There's time to ban Engine Apparition. Probably will. But I feel like that's the only real hot counter to him, but other than, you know, forcing a playstyle that beats him, I think Ancient Apparition is a big counter to Alchemist. Remaining. He is. Maybe Slark is too. It's just the thing with Ancient Five Apparition, is we haven't seen the hero picked up Dyer at all. Though there are some games where teams pick up Alchemist, still won't pick up Ancient Apparition. I probably blame people, like maybe they already Radiant saw the two support picks back. for a team, so like, oh, wait, that's just for a Alchemist. Because a lot of people have been complaining that Alchemist Dyer is one of the more back. cheesier heroes of this pack. Alchemist is cheese? I think he's just resident sleeper. Sorry. Oh, well, uh, it's fun if he goes for the Aghanim sweatshop. I, I like that one. Then you get to see a lot of cool effects that normally Ten aren't purchased because of uh because of the you know item slot stuff. But it's action Five arena playing alchemist, remaining. so they're not gonna be the ones far ahead, right? <laughs> Alright, that's that's <laughs> terrible not coming from a one ten blood seeker. Um, okay, okay, but alchemist fine. Puck, though, then... <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, go grab some aloe vera for that. But alchemist this is going to be mid oh, This is going to be mid alchemist, I presume. Alchemist mm -hmm. is probably one of the best mid lane, I would say now, just because of the acid spray. Um, Puck, in most situations, thrive because of shift being able to mitigate like a couple of right clicks or projectile stuns. That's not the case with alchemist. So the alchemist is going to have a free time mid lane and let Neski respond and put a support either in the main to help Puck for the first couple of levels or have a roaming support that's always going to be on this alchemist's back so he's not going to have the lane that he wants. Ten seconds remaining. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, ancient Apparition, not banned, not really ignored either. Reserve we'll see time. if they do pick it up. Uh, 
I like Sven because of the Mirana. ability to clear out Prophet's nonsense, but uh, we see Mirana again, so any chance it's uh... Oh well, they did run support Mirana, so okay, never mind. They yeah. ran support Mirana the last time, they'll do it again. I was like, maybe, maybe they go mid. But yeah, I think Ten Alchemist does a better job, remaining. Acid Spray is really annoying to deal with as a middle Five laner. I kind of like the two heroes that Action Arena have picked with this Mirana so far though. Nature's Prophet is probably one of the best heroes to help set up for the arrow, just because of the direct route. Hmm? Um, Alchemist is even because of unstable concoctions. So have like if both max disabled then you're gonna get like the four second disable from alchemist then the mirana arrow but we've got another hero to up in the shadow demon so they're putting a lot of emphasis on not just set up for the mirana but they've got so much synergy the minus armor on the alchemist making right great you've also got the soul catcher from shadow demon so you damage instance from everyone on action arena is going to be amplified purge as well we believe that can purge off warcry so, this Sven is going to have a really hard time because there's so much so kite hard. ability from action arena with slows, stuns, and... Yeah, I saw this the other well. day, actually. Uh, what, what, uh, I think it was Sing Sing's new team. I, I may be wrong about this. It might be one of the EU, EU teams that were formed from pop stars. But I think it was either Sing Sing's new team or Syndrome's team. Was it Veggie Esports? I that, didn't get... I, I the remember there thing. was a Shadow Demon <laughs> and an Alchemist team, as well. Yeah. And the alchemist gave Shadow Demon an Agonims. Oh, for the double purge. Triple purge. Triple purge. I keep forgetting. <laughs> yeah, it's like triple purge and on a 40 second cooldown, so Sven will be walking on the spot, pretty much. But that is if you get to that point. That's the huge if. Oh, I cut. Oh, never mind, I just pressed something. Whoops. If. Don't press on spell icons. Okay, they haven't fixed that yet, but. <laughs> Oh, I might press on skill icons. You mean I can click it? No, don't click on skill icons and it gets a random thing on your screen. Now I want to try. <laughs> okay, press it. It probably Bio like pick. Lord's icon or something. Alright, we'll try, guys. Crap. No, 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 it was a permanent. Did you get something? Yeah, you got some funky thing. Okay. It's missing, though. Missing remaining. orange. Maybe it's like the hint for our next hero. Okay, sorry, bounce. Duplicate rooms. your hats now, guys. Your six slotted hat will be mil du duplicated 150 times. Put your arcanas there and then Reserve easy. Time. But you right. gotta cast the game first. So, jokes on you okay. guys giving away arcanas. Oh, uh, jeez. So, yeah, Maneski so far. So, I'm looking at Maneski's draft. It looks quite reasonable. Yeah, you got Sven for that really strong power curve if he can manage to farm up for. Oh no, his... I muted myself. You've Are been you talking to yourself the whole time. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, oh, you mean like mine or on this? No, on stream. I think everyone on oh. TV heard me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I just saw it because there's a five minute delay. So um, they're like, is Lysander even there? So, hey, hi guys, I'm welcome to me. game number two Action Arena vs. Mineski. There needs to be a beeper, you know? Five I don't know. There needs to be a beeper for this. Uh, yeah, so you just missed our whole draft then. Uh, yeah, missed our whole draft so analysis. Tired. But I think you heard Danny's part of it. Mine was. I was mostly adding flavor, so. You're adding crap. Face it. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> well. Guys, uh, I guess I guess that that's awkward. So, yeah. So the last the last pick here. Okay, we're talking about okay. We're, talk, we're talking about Shadow Demon uh, and its potential to kite Sven because uh, Sven is one of the more popular picks nowadays. And uh, the Shadow Demon Alchemist, it's uh, it's a possible late game solution. You have the Academy's transferred to the Shadow Demon, and then you just give him that triple perch, and you just lock down Sven for the entire fight. I mean, that's all in theory, though. Uh, you still have that Sven uh, being able to blink on top of your heroes and making the perch pretty much ineffective. But uh, now we have that Earthshaker being picked up, so it's a uh, offlane Earthshaker, or is is that a core Mirana? It looks like a core Mirana to me. What did I'm pretty sure Gabby played the roaming Mirana last game, right? Oh no, Fly Solo played the roaming Mirana last game. Oh, so Gabby's the Razor, so he's he's the core now. So now they're gonna switch it up. Pick War Marana, and uh, we have uh, Alchemist and uh, in that mid lane, and we have Scrumbleu on his Nature's Prophet. So we'll see how well they do. I mean, Boccarino, an impressive player thus far. 
and uh, we'll see how well he does on his Batrider. I mean, now that the voice is back, there's one way, one way draft cast earlier on. Haha. <laughs> one way draft. Uh, All right. Do another heavy. I'm. I just want to talk about the lane because they have met up into that poor Marana. So you think this is going to be the mid Marana, correct? No, no, this is not a mid Marana. This is a. Uh, or is it a safe lane Marana? Safe lane Marana, yeah. Oh, it's a safe. Gabi, Gabi played safe lane Razor. Okay, that seems much more reasonable. If it was going to be a mid Marana, I was thinking like, Alchemist is much better here to put up against the puck, and then at least Marana has an escape versus the bat. I hope they brought detection. All right, they did bring a lot of detection, so the deal with Bounty Hunter. Is the scan available at level one? Okay, no, they're not. The scan is not available early. But uh, we're gonna scout out Trians. They're walking really slowly. I like the start of stepping. You don't really want to jump too far in and then reveal some reveal yourself while you're on the low ground. Seconds. And uh, yeah. they might actually catch someone off. They are going for that early game cheese. They are dropping ward here. They want to get that early game snipe. Maybe that rune contest. Alchemist doesn't have that stun ready, but he doesn't really need it. There's a lot of lockdown right now. So if the witch doctor even comes in that close. A disruption from the trees there could end him. And uh, I, I believe they do see him. They're pinging out the jungle. They, they know what's up. Some map hacks level the, the on map hack level is. spidey sensors going on here. And uh, no kills. I'm surprised. Do they, do they do this often? Well, it looks like it because exact same thing last game. They smoked. They went into the enemy jungle. They tried to look for a kill. So I think Manescu, they've just sort of caught on knowing that Action Arena always goes for these five-man aggressive smokes looking for kills, so... But Mineski, this win. Just Action Arena, they spent time trying to find kills, and didn't quite get it. They're gonna oh, they move got into bounty. the lanes. They got bounty. This is good. This is an aggressive try lane. Oh, oh, that oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you try and shoot an arrow from 5,000 miles. Not gonna work. Gabi ain't no Katniss, and uh, we're not gonna get our first blood there. It was a very nice setup. Should have fired the arrow long ago, but didn't really want to hit the chickens on the side there. So in the end, they give up first blood. They'll give a big boo boo. Uh, waste of mana as well. Yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna double check. Being a fix on stream yet? I think you're still. I am fixed. Uh, uh, my voice should come up when the last hero, when when Action Arena picks up their last hero. It says people are saying that you're still muted. Yeah, it's still muted because it's five minutes. Draft takes about five minutes. I guess so. Hopefully it's fixed soon. Yeah, it'll Hi, be fixed Thanos, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but now, now it's fixed. I, I checked my, my streaming software, it's fixed. So, all good. Okay. I think. Alright. Hopefully. Um, this is some next level diving. Uh, what's going on here? OG. OG. Alchemist, Jules? is he gonna get punished? No, no, there's oh. no Donata though. There's an Opal Venom that stouts you, the poor man shield block. One more click will get him. No. Oh, the tick down will take him down. Four. Oh, no, no. Alchemist regen to good. And uh, now the dust has been sprayed here. They are going for that. Uh, they're going for that bounty hunter. Is there a stun? There is a stun. Oh. Does it lock him in though? Is the question. Do they have Does sentry wards? No Does sentry wards. Oh, no. Oh, and there's even a bounty room. Go get it. My friends are. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you mess that up? <laughs> Everything that went wrong went That's twice terribly now. wrong. He got away and he even got a bouncy rune. They're, they're actually lucky that they didn't lose. They lived on what? Five to six? By HP. The, the, the hit was blocked by, um, uh, by uh, the PMS. Poor Man's Shield. I mean, but Poor Man's Shield is 100% chance, right? Yeah. So strong. Good stuff. Oh, but uh, they're pressuring this to make sure he doesn't get a bottle ASCP. I think that's uh, that's the point here. They really want to make sure that he doesn't have a good time. And if that one had Janada, it would have been out excellent. Uh, just in range for the Sentry Ward. Good stuff. Fifty dollars? Nope. Oh, he doesn't give money. Eat it. Yep, they're gonna eat that ward. Should he give it to the Alchemist to eat? Actually, pull the heal. Yeah, that's fine. Heal. But they're gonna have to keep the Earthshaker middle now because they know that the bounty oh, is gonna be middle. Oh, what a time middle. to solve! Nearly lost oh, it there. <laughs> that was scary. But Never put yourself solar. around creeps, guys. Never. Definitely. They're Just gonna have to keep the earth shake in the eye, though. Because the bounty hunters put pressure mid lane, you, you really want to guarantee that first couple levels. And then after he's hit mid three or four, then you can sort of leave it to his own devices versus Ben, ben Her. So, hopefully, I solo hangs around for a little bit. Looks like other lanes are looking pretty solid here for Action Arena. Like, Gabby's doing 
really well down towards that bottom lane, 80, yes, compared yeah. to the Sven, they're, they're equal. Yeah, they, they had to switch up the lanes again because they realized that this aggro tri lane is happening. It really seems like a 2013 uh, with the Shadow Demon Marana. Mm. We've seen that in forever. I'm glad. Oh, this might be very sad day for Nature's Prophet. It's we jumped by two, but do they hammer? have enough damage? There's no hammer. He's fine, Dead. I think. Sprout, I think he's fine. They died though, because of the Sven. Oh, oh, that's Sprout. Sprout's easy. Best of Sven. This is something I'll never ever forget. The Sprouts. Sprout's easy? Yep. Yeah, I don't think RTZ is gonna forget in a while. No. <laughs> uh, but Izzy Han and Gabi, they're still enjoying their time here. There's an arrow, don't mess this one up. Arrow, ooh, that's twice now, and you even leap for it. Now that's first blood. Oh, Gabi's dead. But, oh, maybe not. Maybe he gets Can the they first get the first blood kill? first. Nah. No. It's in the fire. Dead. Easy. Oh. That's first blood. Uh, uh. Oh. This is pretty. T this is pretty bad. Um, I don't want to bash on to that's that's like biggest arrow that he's missed this game that was set up by the shadow demon he should have gotten that but to miss a kill like that and to also die after they just got so heavily punished that's oh they're a going lot for it again i don't know if they can kill him okay they got him by the jewels this, this time they've got him okay. if they mess that one up i have no words <laughs> I have no words. No words to describe it, but they need that. They, they needed something to equalize Gabby's death. That was definitely worth it, but still should not have died to begin. Rather unfortunate, but hopefully for Action Arena, they do recollect themselves as a team. They do have a lot of potential to bring game home and to finish series one to one. But obviously based a lot on this phase, just because Action Arena, you've picked up an Alk. They actually might die now, never mind down really quickly. There have been then... a lot of sentry oh, wall swapping. Oh, there was a lag wow. maybe. Lag kill. Wow. <laughs> I guess the... Is that a Russian caster? I think that's a Russian caster. Is the Russian caster, I checked. Okay, so freebie over to the Radiant side. Mineski getting a freebie over there in the middle lane. And I believe uh, five sentry wards have died in this lane now. In a short span of time. Almost, it's a waste I of think. money. It's a waste of money. That's how much money Bounty Hunter wastes for your team. Bounty Hunter's making the most of it though, he's helping Ben Hur in his lane for all. Yeah, the Bounty Hunter just really texts his enemy support, that's why he's so effective. And then once he gets back, it's like he mitigates all that gold lost earlier in the game. All back there. Whereas you, you stay poor. Exactly. Uh, well, well, in, in Alchemist's case, maybe not, so. He's not the one buying wars, is he? Well, he could, getting this extra gold, but considering if he was picked oh, up an alchemist... Oh, profit! Oh, that's two points in Shuriken as well, he's a dead man. Dang man walking. Oh, oh, what? 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 <laughs> oh, jeez. This is why cool guys should sometimes look at explosions. This is why Dyer's you had Tango. All those Tangos eating bodies could have... Yep, oh, uh, fly, gonna take a fissure? No. Be fine. Wouldn't have been able to kill him anyway. Yeah. Is he uh, under the detection of an observer ward right now? So, not gonna be able to get a jump on anybody. G, I'm gonna bottle crow a little bit. Jules, gonna be sitting in there. He doesn't have mana for a shuriken though. Oh, we might get him there. Slows him a little bit. But, uh, yeah, his puck is not in. Not in the neighborhood for now, so he's gonna have to just deal with this acid spray spam and uh, just back off. Meanwhile, they just profit. Uh, he'll be hunting tomatoes Guys, and potatoes. And speaking of potato, there's one right up there bashing away at a catapult and uh, forcing this tower to be under attack. Not really too much they can do about it. Everyone's left the lane. So, looks like it's just gonna end up being a trade. Even the native profit down towards bottom. Radiant structures are fortified. Nice trade here. Actually, it's a while till they take that top lane. I guess raiding potatoes is probably ult, so that's gonna be okay. Unfortunately, G it's gonna be a very, very sad alchemist. Oh, yep. Oh wow, Rainbow DP, the power rangers are here. 
Find the Morphin. Here we go. Fly solo. Gets long fissure across the Star Storm will land. No, no depth. There we go. The Star Storm lands. Double Star Storm on Bocarino as well. Oh, <gasps> sick charge. No! 5 HP. What is this game? Error? Pass. Don't no. get that error now. And uh, the Coconut will bounce. It will save lives. But there's a Clarity Potion. Oh, Fly solo silences it up. There's a four point orb. It's going to miss completely. Go misses all three heroes. Ben her. Accuracy is not the name of this game, I would say, for both teams. And uh, Cast, now he's just gonna skittle out of there. That coconut doing more work than it already has. And uh, Bocarino will survive. He has the tranquil boot, so no requirement to go back home. Oh, Gabby is trying to go for Ben Hur. Actually, he was trying to look for um. Oh. One else. Yeah. But... How, how's he gonna yeah. kill him without Starstorm? No, I think he was trying to go for. You want to for Ninja oh, Arrow? Like... I don't think he can hit him. Kill him. He's got 300 health. Without the burst, I don't think you can kill him. Yeah. It, it does do quite a bit of right click, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. But it was the Batrider that almost died, right? Charges keeping him alive. Yep. If, if Gabby went in that legendary hit, the one just to make sure you got that kill, they would have killed him. But he tried to just go for the perfect play, didn't really think about the wand there. Don't mind me. So, it hurts actually tried a bit. If I got the kill there, it would have been great. Just having that influx of gold as well as. Because with how the game is so far, they need themselves ahead of Mineski. Running an alchemist, alchemist to be effective, to be a few thousand network Pass. ahead. No. Gabby got lead. The him. Oh, he snapped the coil. That's a three point shuriken. Go get him. There's an arrow silence up. Oh, Jules? Jules. Oh, Jules. Very close. Disjoint that. So, uh, very little help on all of them. Oh, acid spray. They're all gonna get out there. So they do get the Cormorana, which is great on them. Bottom lane. They do get that, uh, they do get that Sven, but, uh, Raging Potato. I mean, they do get their Nature's Prophet. Wow, it was a one on three and he took out the Nature's Prophet. Wow. Oh, oh the, the Fissure 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 him. He's down at 16. Trying get to get him? out of there. Oh. Got him. Nice. Very, very nice. And that's a solo kill on a hot carry as well. That's pretty strong. Level eight on a, uh, by a level five. Get us to almost level six now. Can actually build up that uh, tomb of experience if he wants to get that level six banner. Was actually smoked up by his teammates. The arrow will fly. Cast so it's gonna miss completely. They'll get his observer ward. The prophet was thinking about coming in, but uh, not gonna be the case here. We have a call in 15 seconds, so we could go for round two on Gabby, who is going for surprise, surprise, Agadim Scepter. Yeah, the stats are useful. Well, it's like the battle for the Mirana. going in there. Drops that napalm onto the alchemist. Better of it. By himself. You know, a track here on Fly Solo. There's dust on the Shaker and uh, Marana. Gonna be sitting around as well. It's a there coil. Do we go for it? There's no shake in the back lines. I don't think they really want to go for it. Oh, oh wow. Comes forward, throws out an arrow. Drops the Star Storm as well as the double. No double. Lands on the lands on the catapult instead. Very fortunate there for Puck. Yeah, if Gabby was a little bit closer to Puck. But that was that a very aggressive team, actually. If there was support there, he could have died. Well, you could actually tell from the way he leaped, he sort of hesitated for the arrow for a bit. He did let it. F oh, not the arrow, he hesitated the Star Storm because he wasn't sure if the arrow landed. It obviously. Fortunately, with the hesitation, Gabby just wasn't quick enough to sort of respond and grab that quick kill on the puck. If he did instantly just a combination, it would have killed him. But oh, there's top. a blink dagger. There's yep. a witch doctor outfit. Yep, there is. There's death ward, so. And even tag him for track, so easy money. He buys up the armlet. Alright, armlet first. No radiance. I've seen armlet being built there on Alchemist as well. Uh, I, I think it's pretty strong because his ultimate pretty much just mitigates the, the life lost from armlet, but. Is it, uh, is it... What do you think, uh, Armlet or Radiance? Radiance speeds up your farm, though. Radiant speeds up the farm, but do you want to be spending time farming up against Mines? That's the question. Because if they're yeah, waiting for the... Yeah, you need to get the, the eggs for your team. Sweet eggs. Tired team can get no eggs. No team. No team that I've ever seen picked up an Alchemist just to buy Radiant Agonim's... <laughs> Radiant Alk. It's going to be the, the Octarine called Man. Elk. Look I'm at me bringing pup strats in. Hoping that this is going to be really, really good early fighting minus armor alchemists that we sometimes see. They do go for armlet, but then they also get, like medallion into blink. assault caress. Oh, I thought solo caress blink and then max stun. Blink. Uh, the blink timing is very 
I want to say it's very personal because every time I've seen fighting Alka build, it's not static to when the teams want to be picking up the blink, but it is a very crucial item for trying but to land those unstables. Crest, though, I think. Yes, solar crest, and then you want to go for like a salt crest for the extra minus armor. Well, I still like sweat, sweat, sweat shop alchemist. <laughs> yeah, you want to wait 60 minutes for that kind of alchemist. Ready, potato. He might be ganked up here. Just be Set very up. careful. Uh, Stop. Set up. Yep, they're gonna banish him first, and then they're gonna lead fire and arrow. But there we go. Laps him in with that Fisher as well. Stubble Star Storm. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Raging Potato would just happily farm the jungle and then got himself caught out. So that was a couple of ultimates spent. Uh, there is still Moonlight Shadow and that Fissure, so they could be looking for something else here in the middle lane. But uh, Gabi, quite a ways from his uh, Aghanim Scepter, about 1000 over gold. Gabi's gonna try for the long range. There is Batrider in the area, so oh, they left oh, the no! That was so obvious though. Hey, right. now that that's out of the way. That's okay. an observer, no scouting that. Here's Nihan. Oh, getting self destroyed right off the bat. Easy track goal once again. The arrow will fly. Oh, that shot. So, once again, Ben Hur out there. Scott Free gets an easy kill as well. But meanwhile, Sven. Ooh, tasty, tasty. Getting so much gold. The Pike is actually ahead of the Sven in terms of net worth. He's going to eclipse him now. But it looks like for now, they've got Mineski sort of keeping Action Arena at bay in the middle lane. Just because they've got four heroes here. Sven's not really that close. He's keep on farming. I think they're just trying to sort of keep Action Arena busy while this Sven farms. And for Action Arena, I feel like this is... They've got to address this. Fine if you're going to be dealing with their team, but the biggest factor here... Farming. A lot of items on top of two. He's got almost 800 gold, Helmet the Dominator. Gonna be building into the sand and Yasha soon. No like echo once... saber, sad face. <laughs> I think everyone wants to see echo saber, but S N Y is still so good on this fan. You want the movements, you want the slow. The stats are amazing on him as well. And obviously, if, if you're a Sven, stats is good because of God strength. And uh -oh, top lane, poor skin. Bye, friend. Silence. All right. Dead. There used to be an anxious prophet up here, but I'm just gonna turn him into mulch. Oh, you oh. nearly did it again. <laughs> <laughs> nearly oh. did it again. But uh, middle lane, meanwhile, oh, shuriken away. Nearly got the jump there on that Marana as well. Uh, meanwhile, Batrider, he does have a blink dagger. He sees the other shaker. I think he wants to go for it. Oh, he gets vanished. There is an echo slam here. Ooh, slams him down. Purge him up. They might be echo slam this. Yes, they will. Not taking chances here. They will get the Marana, but there is a support rotation coming in. There fly solo. Uh, flying solo. Not the plan against four heroes. Get himself picked off there. Raging Potato. Six the last hit. So that's revenge. I can't go there on. They have 10 and 5 now in terms of the score line and uh, 1600 gold going there way 4,000 gold advantage. Game booted me. At least I'm back in now though. It booted me temporarily when you had your speech, so oh, good. Oh, okay. Good oh, stuff. Uh, but there was a fight. A lot of heroes died. Yeah, I, I saw the the tail end of the Earthshaker dying. Quick D word from Carb. And it looks like for now it's just the story is last game. Mineski, they're getting so much control uh -huh. of the map because they're so well, nice aggressive. Shadow. I think he can get him. There's no blink dagger on this uh, Sven. This, this goes. They need the setup. Dyer's Just do it! Tower has middle tower has Quick fallen. enough. Everyone's too slow. You know where Ishan is now, so... Cast. There are a lot of wards in this area, and they didn't see it. And this observer, does it block the camp? That one? No. Does hold it, no. alt. It, does, it, does it work if I hold alt? Oh, no, actually... It... Oh, this one's on the very edge. It does block. I wasn't looking. Wait, how, how, how do you do it? I hold alt and it doesn't show. Uh, oh, they might have to go to options. Open oh, it. Let me just so, go take a look. So casters can actually do it. Okay. So, go to your options. And okay. go to the Holding options alt tab. shows tower attack range. Okay, good. Good job. Ah, okay. And that right gets killed and then he just blocks it. And right. oh, Alchemist gets away with like a tiny bit of heat as well for him, but uh, now I can see spawn boxes. Very good there for us casters. And chased up here by the pup. I'm not sure they can actually get the kill on him. They have to fissure him well, and that's an arrow straight away. Oh no! Oh, no! That's not how you Marana! Oh no, man. It's a stun, okay. Tries for it, doesn't get it. Oh, this Marana. 
this Serana pick, I would have to say that there are some cases but he's been incredibly useful, but I think for the majority of the game, there's, he's missed so many opportunities. I don't want to blame it on his play. I think it's just the nature of the of the Marana pick. There's so many other heroes that have more, I want to say, spells that can at least guarantee themselves landing. Arrow, the size of a tiny, a couple of them just because of the projectile speed. Maybe he's just not practiced on the hero. Oh, They've actually found they out Jules. Jules. Mm -hmm. They trapped Jules. The bat rider is here to burn away the trees. They purge him up. I think Jules is done for. The arrow will hit the catapult. Good stuff. Easy money. But we're going to get the kill though. Ooh, oh, triple silence. They walk into fire. That's not the plan. That's never the plan. Bounces the tiger to the side there. Drops the star storm. Tries to go for it. Longest Agon Scepter ever. And uh, he goes down again. Four deaths now. Three kills for free there. Maneski getting easy pickings. Whoever thought if you ran in fire. We have a bad time. And uh, meanwhile, top lane. Oh the my god. Alchemist getting destroyed there. Oh. They're gonna chase him. Yep. Prophet's coming in. You know what's up. Gee, you can pretend this up all you want. But the coil's coming. There is no need for a lasso. He snaps and gets smashed by Raging Potato. I guess that's another way to deal with an Alchemist without his regen. Just out, out smash his regen. Pretty much. You know what's up with the Alchemist? Third in terms of net worth with full Greeble. Goes to show how bad of a game they've actually had with Alchemist. He's just no opportunity to be able to farm up and get those really quick items. I also probably want to say it's because Action Arena didn't really stack for the Alchemist. Uh, Alchemist, in an mm. environment where the team stacks for him, is able to get a whole buttload of money. But because that didn't happen and he went for the armlet build, it's just slowed his farm. It's really dampened his farming speed, unfortunately. And so if an Alchemist is third and ten at worst, oh, it's not really that great, yeah. Sihan in trouble there. The oh, they purge it. Bokarito might have just sent himself into a lot of trouble. The Necro Slap available. Oh, well, nice. a lot of damage. That's two enough though. It doesn't stun. And now they're just leaping over the place. The arrow doesn't hit. Oh no! One more click will do the job, but it's not enough. He's tracked up. Gabi's in trouble. This game is a disaster for ACA. And they go down again. Three heroes lost. And you said they didn't stack. It's because they've been spending so much time trying to save this Marana. Helping him get a good game, and uh, he's only landed like two arrows this game. This is the case for Action Arena where they didn't have a hero that was able to control for them to make space. I, for mean, this I mean, that's what the Marana is for, but he just but didn't, didn't do his job. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It didn't happen, and I think it was. Yeah. I, wanna, I kind of wanted it because it didn't really set up for Gabby. They were expecting him to land these arrows, or maybe the, he was trying to always land those long range arrows. There are going to be some cases where to get the five second arrow but you might have to just give up some of the stun duration so that your spell actually lands. Mm -hmm. The majority of the Gabby's been leaping backwards trying long arrows and it just hasn't connected. Um, I can definitely say a team if they practice Marana frequently they should be landing them 99% of the time but I think for Action Arena because of the new patch I haven't really had enough time to practice yeah, like, style like, of that's Marana the problem with Gabby. following flavor of the month here. Right? Exactly. You're like, oh yeah, it's cool, let's do that, we can do that. And then, y if you're not familiar with the hero, it does matter a lot. And uh, this is a case where it's showing it. I, I feel like some people are just not meant to play certain heroes. I mean, you don't have to practice. Like, for example, if you're not Blitz, I think Blitz is the best example. If you're not Blitz, you're not going to be as comfortable on Storm Spirit as he is, you know what I mean? Like, you exactly. may be okay in the hero because you're a pro player, and you're not gonna know the little nuances that make that hero great, stuff like that. So, I think that's the case here, you know, he, he just doesn't really feel Marana. He doesn't, unfortunately. Uh, and right now, they're getting punished for it. This Sven is having the greatest time of his life. 4, 2, and 0. They're going for tier 2 tower, they got themselves an Aegis. I think the best course option would be to push maybe trade towers, yeah. Can they still push quickly enough though? Like this right, if you're running a spin, drink the tower and it's just going to melt. There is really nothing that they can do about it. Uh, unfortunately for Action Arena, they've only got a Shadow Demon here to defend. If he gets caught out, he's going to die insanely quickly. And you can tell Boccarino is blood. He just wants to find somebody. He sees both of them, I believe. Oh, they purge up the there. Shadow Demon. I mean, they purge up the Bat Rider. And they call in there right away. Oh, with a veil. 
Once again, Banner with the fail. Oh, there's a guarding breeze. They try and get the hit there. Oh, he dodges the second star storm though. This Alchemist is so useless. He's trying to do his best there. And now the Echo Slam will take out the Witch Doctor. It's overkill, but at least he gets the job done. And uh, the arrow will fly. It lands a Banner. The second star storm oh. actually takes him out. And gets the to do work. And now the Sven might have dove a little bit too deep here. Ready Potato pops that war cry coming in. There is still a lesso, so they have to watch out for this. The Echo Slam is down. And what are they really going to do? There's a Shadow even ready for this, but Mirana gets himself caught out. Then it's just Sven getting ready. The special lines up perfectly. Three heroes lands up there. Well, they leave away time to turn right here from the sneaky napalm. And now Izzy Han running for his bloody life. He does have the purge ready. And he's gonna try for a purge here on Jules, maybe. They are buying a lot of time though. They just probably popping that uh, blade mill. I, I do like that idea. Can actually do a lot here for the team, but there's a blink ready in for Sven in three seconds. Oh, that's locks good him out. Jules gets caught out. They might have overextended their welcome. Bocarino no better blink in four seconds and uh let's look at that fly solo money it's got 1004 on top of that blink dagger so so far so good a base defense uh, well done i mean aca held on to the racks and get a couple of big kills on top of that uh give themselves some time to recover all without buybacks as well uh, that was... oh nature's profit bought back okay that was such long drawn out fight what as well. the what? hell Ember? Uh... Rest in pieces. Just oh, the arrow lands. Okay, 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 okay. Star Storm, get it. The Wrath of Nature might have just bought himself some time to kill off this, uh, kill this fan. Do they get him though? Does he oh, get no. him though? No, he doesn't get him. That's Actually, valid. four seconds on. Yeah. If you was in range, they have oh, the lead. He leapt forward again for that arrow. Oh. And, uh, yeah, not gonna find a mark. Jules, 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 Jules. They know you're here, Jules. You know, Jules is here, they're gonna pop something now. Oh no, oh. with the fail! <laughs> oh, the coil. And they will actually, they might get Jules here. Oh, there's a double star stomp, they do get him. And they will reclaim the gem, so... And, uh, well, Alchemist got his Radiance, so... Yay! <laughs> Should've got it first! The, also, at Raging Potato, he's BKB. So, now that this BKB is up, there is quite literal... Oh, he brought himself a south. Easy. Nothing on the side of Action Arena outside of the Purge that they can really control the spin. They Surge have to rely... Oh, I guess you could Sprout him? Pulling Blade there. He no, doesn't. He does so you can Sprout so, him. Sprout and Purge him, then Spray. Spray. <laughs> but Bat Rider will just fly over the tree down, I think. It depends on how the fight goes. Like, Bat Rider Ooh. may have already used it. Nicely done. Veil plus Star Storm. Moonlight Shadow gets the kill. So he's gone for the magical damage oriented Mirana. Um, what was the build that you saw coming yesterday out of all these Miranas? It, it wasn't the Veil, but it was definitely the first. It's Dagon, Dagon, the no, Blink, Dagon, E Blade. Blade was the build yesterday. I'm not even sure if we can take it seriously, to be honest, but uh, that was the build, yes. I feel like it can work. Because you're relying so much on your magical burst that this definitely work, especially if you get the extra star storms. Mm -hmm. Essentially hit someone four times if the star, star storm pro Pretty much, uh, but still it's a it's quite a stretch to, to be able to land it effectively, especially if you're, you can't pick your targets properly in a team fight. But that's why you get the blink dagger, right? To jump on someone and blow them up. Blink. But, uh, that's that's a spend for double damage. So and this time it doesn't get this now it doesn't get dispelled by BKB. So it's four times. You gotta really watch out. I, no, it's more than four times. I think it's uh oh, yeah, it's four times. No wait, it's more than four times. Two hundred percent times two, so it's four hundred percent. Don't math. Yeah, four times. Okay. Don't math on. <laughs> Someone's gonna correct ah! you. No, not so intelligent. This is why I never math on stream. Okay, okay. Bonus damage, you get 200% more. So that's three times, and then you multiply it by two, you get six, right? Right? So six times damage. Well, we'll see how much damage he gets when he du double got, he got strength and bought, doubles it. All right. But double damage is only for the base, so, so it's not exactly you know, six times. But it's gonna be a lot. Why right. you he don't pops double that? damage. All right, he does double damage, he pops it. <laughs> double damage. Got strength up, let's go. He doesn't dispel anymore, just, just pop it. Go full ham. They smoke. Action Arena, no. If you don't see any oh, this smoked up. So, oh, nice vanish. They do get about. Oh, how much he gets? He gets 500 damage. Oh, Adam! Oh, Rage of Potato! Get caught up! Where's your BKB now? Oh, no! 
He threw and now caught, caught in the trees. Sprout easy. Scamberlo running in. Blade mail fast going in. Jules with the greaves. He's got to get out of there. There is gem, I believe. The shuriken toss though. Easy hunt. Good game himself caught out. He manages himself. Buys himself some time. They're going for the bat rider. They're going to leave the poor shadow demon low. Don't no, shake up. Fishes up. And this alchemist just stuns himself in the back lines. Okay, he's doing his best. Jules coming here. Four staff ready. The bail is ready. Double saw. Song gets him. Jules, no chance at all. And they actually hold their base without losing a single hero. Three heroes lost on the side of Maneski. Do we see throws then? Do we see oh, throws? Geez. Oh, man. That arrow wasn't meant for the Sven. They were supposed to catch up that rider. Completely missed him, but the Sven just walked right into it. Oh god, that was so planned. unfortunate for Minus. That was quite planned. a quick planned. But that was kind of play that action Arena really wanted. And that's the second high ground defense that they've managed to without losing any. They haven't lost any major objectives yet. They're staying in the game and they're starting to accumulate gold. Now this is good news because for Action Arena, all of their heroes scale with gold. You could say the same for Mineski, but I can't help but feel like this fight potential for Action Arena could be better, especially once some of these heroes start getting things like if, if we can see an Earthshaker with a Aghanim Scepter, I can't help but feel like that might be a factor that brings Action Arena back because they're lacking control. Yeah. Similar nature. Mineski, they've got Bat Rider. Great heroes to start up the fight. Even the sun's great because you can get With the Leaping Earthshaker as well as the Echo Slam, that's mm -hmm. the setup that they need to start the fights off. And if they're lucky, maybe G gets some concoctions off. But I think all the ones we've seen so far, he's always been kited. So he just so this could be a, a tilting factor here for Action Arena. Mineski, they need to select themselves. Gotta stop making something happen. Just go for the safer play. Take those objectives. I think for now, just focus on getting that Roche when it resets. Fortunately, it's gonna be in 2 minutes and 15 minutes. Alright, the, the, uh, the Alchemist thing has begun. The Radiance and the Octarine. Uh, so it's, it's gonna be painful for Mineski to deal with now. They have to dedicate Puck and whatnot to deal with these uh, split pushes along with the Prophet. So they have put themselves in a uncomfortable situation. It's uh, They could have closed out the game very early on. Uh, this makes it extra difficult for them. Oh, quick reflexes here from Scrambleu. They work against that kill there and uh, yeah, Scrambleu will die. Here, quick reflexes from Ben Hur, I mean. Oh, we'll get that. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Oh no, they get the Witch Doctor. So they easily get a consolation prize. The arrow will fly. It will just make the Batrider walk out of the way. So it's not too bad. They are tracked up though. So they might need to dispel some of these. Uh, the Marana though. Let's be very careful here. The Alchemist Illusion is just running around. And uh, once he gets that Octarine core, it could be slightly dangerous. One of the good things about the armlet is you can manta the illusions, make them tankier, I guess. Yes, absolutely. Still need G to get bigger than this, though. He's starting to build into. He's printing money now. Really. He is starting to print, but he needs to print it faster. All right. Absolutely. Get minted. Uh, seeing the national alchemist gets a double damage. <laughs> double damage. Still might die here though. He doesn't have his Manta, yeah. Rip. Greetings, not gonna work out here. G, gonna get caught out. And uh, <laughs> he gets brought down here, so. Died so quickly. So, so quickly. The Alchemists need to get that Assault Grass as soon as possible. They need that armor up, up, up against the Sven. They need to also counter out the Sven Assault Grass. Because if they don't have their own Assault Grass, they're always gonna have that minus armor coming out from. You want the assault caress though, like you want the the armor, you want the aura, you, you want everything from the assault caress. You don't want Nesky and assault caress advantage here. Sure. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Marana is Radiant Marana is going for E blade, and I I kind of want to agree with this because you can't out DPS the Sven, so why not mitigate his damage instead? Right. Not really uh, mitigate him, but you can oh. also just jump in, uh, ghost, not ghost scepter, um, oh, e blade the target. Oh, caught. Is there, is there, uh, is that goal? No, don't, if they jump on cask, they're gonna get lassoed and boiled. It would have been a bit risky. But, uh, they're backing off now. I think they're going for Roshan. Uh, Sven has a Daedalus. I'm not sure what he's gonna drop for it. Maybe the helm? He will forfeit his, uh, lifesteal for it. Or maybe he drops his blink dagger, we'll see. 
Oh, no, you can go for this one, but they moonlight uh, right under the observer wall, though, so they know what's coming. He popped his god strength, he wants to get this done ASAP. And uh, we'll see if that works out for them because there is no detection. There is a gem though on their bat rider. They lock in the Sven. He could be useless this fight. This is a very dangerous fight here for Maneski. If they mess up this one, they could get screwed up there. So Echo Snap wants to get changed. That is the Sven. Potato down. The Roshan still in the pit though. The, oh, the Zep one though. Doing lots of DPS. But G is the wrong person to be focused firing on. And G picks up the edges. Monstrous, monstrous mistakes here from Maneski. And the puck goes in there. Secures the kill on the Marana. But He's out of his uh, he's out of his alchemist form now. He's gonna have that double damage on him, but he does have the armlet toggle ready for action here. So Jules oh, is swamped up here, but Ben here gets that Aegis swamp by Ben here. He's caught out by that Earthshaker, leaping Earthshaker coming your way. And Jules to stand still, hoping they don't have detection. And uh, they don't have detection. Where's that gem? He picked it up, so he knows that they don't have detection. But this is the time for the prophet to actually make a move here on that top lane, maybe. Nope. There's G, no buyback on the fucking down middle, spin. But Jules actually got stunned there, and there's no detection right now. So Jules is just playing with fire, just hugging around the enemy here, seeing if he can get any kind of big pick up. Oh, yeah. Bok That's Bok a fissure, though. I'm not okay. sure what the plan was to get himself stunned. There's another follow up stun. Is there? Oh, oh no detection again. The Glimmer Cave got to buy himself some time, but the cast is here, and now it's their turn to throw. ACA got themselves uh, one Earth Shaker down, and a lot of track kills going the other way. But this game just got interesting. That fight. That was super risky to try and do that fight. I believe Maneski, was it Maneski? They had this one game where they had no buyback on the Sven and the Sven tried to do Roshan at low health without lifesteal and died and lost themselves the game. I don't... That was this one game, I remember. I, I saw that. I think it was a C team. I'm pretty sure it was a C team and I'm pretty sure it was Maneski but I'm not too sure about that point exactly. But I remember the Sven having no buyback. They just won a team fight and then they went for Roshan and he let himself get killed by Roshan because he had to drop his helm for uh, ages so he didn't have the lifesteal. So Roshan clapped him late game and it was really powerful so he just died. Without uh, buyback and he lost the game. Why didn't he just drop his boots? Kill off Roshan and then pick up the boots, drop the helm and then pick up the Aegis. <laughs> That's Wouldn't why. That's died. why it was a throw, and that's why it was top on Reddit. Huh. Okay, that's that's quite strange. Yeah, it's it's. I, I'm sure I'm sure chat will go crazy when they see that see the throw there on the, the bottom lane or oh, the rush fight. See that rush fight. It's the turning point. Is it really Us? the turning point though? I think when still got a hold of the game. I actually also want to point out. Uh, but no, it's a turning point because you give the ACA the time to build up all those items. Now they are well equipped to deal with your. Was the, previously, they were so far behind, it was just flukes that they managed to hold. But now they have got items to actually well, moderately deal with this. But and, can I and also you deny point yourself out? An ages of 10 minutes, which is more time if you want to play safe, you have to wait another 10 minutes for the next ages. It's more time for the out to get big, more times for key items like an axe for Shadow Demon, maybe. Come online. Problem. Lysander. Yeah. Okay, there's the smoke first. I'll point this out a little bit later. It depends if this is going to be successful. Moonlight Shadow. Oh, Moonlight Shadow. Does it, is that a gem? Gem is far away on the right side. Jules has it, so they don't see this one coming. Oh, they see the smoke, though. The arrow will fly. It will oh, left right onto Jules. Echo Slash follows up. Ready to step it up to get his BKB up. That's the important one. He gets the crit. That's a big one to get. He kills two. Mirada Earthshaker down. Scrap Blue on the way out as well. That Kalee just doing so much damage. The Death War picks him off. I thought that was the perfect initiation. But this time, not blowing up Raging Potato in time is what happens. This is what happens when you let the Sven go unhindered here in the team fights. BKB, Daedalus crits, and before you know it, your entire team just falls to the ground. And this is Rex for sure, if not game. We were just talking them up, saying that it was turning point. But hey, guess okay. what? We just flipped the 360 degrees. We're back, right? Back in Maneski's favor, and uh, well, Maneski are going to throw in straight from this. I think there there shouldn't be buybacks. Yeah, there are mostly no buybacks on no. most of the heroes, and uh, I don't believe Alchemist and Marana can hold off this um, death squad here. Also, refresh her up, bro. Yeah, Raging Potato. He's just going to refresh his God Strength and just end this game. Yep. What I wanted to point out was the Ben never used B till that fight. So yep. it was still a 10 second beat. Uh, like every single time I went into a fight previous before that one, he would always die first. Perma stunned. No. He just died so quick. Time. The damage wasn't there. He deployed 10 seconds of magic immunity. And with nothing that PSOG takes outside of the purge. Oh. Same thing, but uh -oh. oh, I think they might lose some more heroes. They should not have gone back in. They didn't have well, anyone I mean, here. They have, to, they have to go back in. There's mech creeps already. And... 
Well, they fought hard. Alright, alright, nope, Cast still gonna fall. Fly solo, gets a fish, a banner. There's a disruption, saves his life though. And uh, the Earthshaker is gonna blink away in time. Then Volcarino getting caught out, but it's Mega Creeps. It's Mega Creeps. Plop. And her? But he goes, Banner still toying around the enemy. Is it Dagon time? Sell all your stuff for Dagon. Poke, poke, poke. They get the oh. Fissure, they get him, they snub it, and the fountain <laughs> lends a hand there in the demise of Puck. And uh, Raging Potato, they only want to get out there alive, but they get the big creeps. Job done, all the buybacks were expended, but at this point, hey. So one fight with buyback, and that cost action quite so quickly as well. And the team fight looked wonderful, didn't they? They had the initiative. They were uh -huh. after. It almost looks like a disaster, but they don't have a spend. They don't have anything to really do any damage. Alchemist is just walking around, hitting people with nothing. Yeah, they don't have anyone of the same caliber. It's it's rather. A, it could have been the Alchemist. It could have been Marana, but they were trying to. They were still trying to farm. Like Marana, unfortunately, never going to have that explosiveness like the spend. She can burst one person down, which is fine, but for her to. Well, impact the fight has to go on for a minute or two minutes so that a lot of her spells and items down throughout the duration of the fight that didn't happen so could have been the alchemist that could have that role but he just took way too long to farm like picking up the armor at first it's understandable this is Maybe the poorest thinking... alchemist i've ever seen yeah the poorest he is the poorest but you can sort of you get the idea as to what may have been going through g's in with like you yeah. get extra strength maybe we're thinking about mm -hmm. fighting early they really got shut down during the early game and they just had to like change plans yeah he, he just didn't have minutes, the, the game plan in. right i guess and uh i, I would i would say that more, more fault goes on to marana to be honest because of the early arrow misses it really messed up their tempo we, we talk about tempo here it seems to be the buzzword oh, oh! slams them down with the echo slam but it's not enough there's no follow-up that's marana now and Fly Solo gonna get a machine gun to the face. He tries to run away, but the Maledict will ensure that he doesn't get out of there. Oh, Shaker buys back into the game, but hey, we got to see an Aghanim's upgrade on that lasso. That was pretty enjoyable to see. And, uh, well... I think that's the first one I've seen in a pro game. Honest. I've never seen Ag's Batrider in a pro game before. Maybe I just don't watch the right games. There are a lot of other offlaners that... Oh, he played Dagon! Get a lot of damage out oh, of there. The puck gets stuck into the stun there. Oh, Scambledo gets a PKB activated there. They're gonna get out there in time. You see Han gets a glimmer kick, tries to save himself, but what hit! And there we go. Fountain dive begins. One, two, three! Down he goes. Raging Potato clears out the fountain. And uh, well, Mega Creeps will see the, with the Dire Throne goes down and 42 to 21 ACA crumble for his second game in a row. Looked a little bit hopeful there, but in the end, Maneski just proved a little bit too strong. Raging Potato finally got his shit together, turned on his BKB and went to town. The BKB factor. No BKB! No. Oh jeez. But I honestly had expectations for Action Arena to take him off for Maneski, but... Maneski, they proved me wrong. Two they're looking very, very good today. Mm, yeah, 